Hello, it's Sarah. So tonight I've been playing with metal. I had shown a, a video earlier and I showed us some of these. This is that um, tape that you get at Home Depot. Let's see, I think it's, I don't know if it has a name. Nashua Tape Products, but it's just silver foil tape. So it's got, uh, it's tacky on the back. And I watched um, Amanda, I think, or oh, Miranda. She's um, Liberty 25, I think that's her YouTube. And she had done a tutorial using this tape. And she did um, kind of like, I guess, a quilt pattern is all I can think of. Where she would cut squares, rectangles, all different shapes. She did say she likes to keep it straight. And then you just glue them down. Not glue. You just have to stick them. Stick them down in a quilt pattern. And then this is actually just um, a piece of file folder that I had made some tags with earlier. So I had this out. So I just covered it with the tape. And then she takes a stylus. Um, you can use a pencil, I guess, or anything. But these just happen to have um, these nice ball tips. So you're not going to rip the uh, foil. And you just make designs all over it. Um, so I actually had a little Tim Holtz, the same embossing folder that I used for here. So I stuck the top of this in there and the bottom and did that and then I mean I'll probably put a bunch of embellishments on top I'll make it steampunky but I'm gonna um I don't know I might do it with one of the prima dolls I think I might put her on here and give her some wings and maybe put a top hat on her and stuff and try to make her steampunk but the other thing I did was this this is a frame that I had sitting around I had actually painted it and didn't like the pattern so I just punched out, um, I'm going to, I'm going to use this too. I'm going to do this in metal and see how that comes out the bird cage. But I had this, um, it's, it's a little steampunky. So I thought metal would be good with that. So I glued it down first, just onto the wood. I mean, it's raw wood under here. I cut this out of, um, grunge board. Um, actually this is grunge board too because I wanted it to be a little thicker to show but this is actually not this is the file folder again so it's not as thick I glued those down so that's another um, alterations die For, so first I just glued all that down and then um, covered it like I did this I just cut all the little shapes and just covered the entire thing and then what you do, that's why my hands are all black. But I actually did this with rub and buff first. And the black rub and buff did not take. It didn't, like, it just rubbed right off. So then you, I just take black acrylic paint. Um, this is Americana black paint. And I sponged it on this time. And then I left it. I left it on and let it dry a little bit before I rubbed it off. And that actually worked much better. Everything stayed... Um, and then you can spritz it with water. I spritzed it with water a little bit and then rubbed it so it, it, I could get it out of the like really deeper nooks and crannies. But on this one, I actually took, um, some stays on ink pads and I just hit it here and there. I used, um, I only, I wish I had browns. I don't have any browns. I ha I used a little red like on the hearts and it actually looks purpley or pink. I have this uh, teal. I put a little bit of azure on there. And what is this one called? Lemon yellow? Can't even see it. Sunflower yellow. So I hit it here and there. I actually, and then I, I like sanded it off. I used um, a fine grit sandpaper, 150 grit sandpaper, and sanded it. Um, this was my first attempt, and I think I figured out a few more designs that I can use. Like I did this. I've seen this in a, as a metal grate or something. I don't know. Then there's little X's here. I actually did what looked like nail heads. I tried to do nail heads on here. So that was fun. 
And I just like the different size um, dots and X's. Just ran. And then these little, like, X'd out. Um, Miranda had actually put mesh underneath. Like, I don't have any of that. Or even that chicken wire stuff or whatever it's called. Um, it's the sequin stuff they use, too, that, that looks like chicken wire. So, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, can't really see it. I'm going to... I'm using a different tripod and it's not cooperating. Oopsie daisy. Okay. My my desk is a mess. But um I just wanted to hold this up a little bit. It's not it's not working. My other tripod moves. There we go. I put gold rub and buff on these after and just left it on there and then I rubbed it off and it it did stay which I liked because I wanted to put gold on the um crown and then I put blue around the um heart to make it look like skyish but it's pretty cool I'm liking it I think I'm going to try this technique on some other stuff like I might um do a box of some type like and get more um, stuff to put under it like try and find some mesh try and find like some other things that are flat like this actually looks like mesh so I don't necessarily need it so I think I might play around on a tag again before I um or even uh, I don't know I was thinking if you could emboss the tape first I don't know I think Rach uh, what is her Rach013 or something? She has a, a tutorial on some boxes that she did with these Lemire paints. And I just got these. So I don't know. I might play around with these too. But she paints the foil with this like metallic paint. And then she like sands it off or something. I'm going to have to watch that again. But I think I'm going to play with that since my hands are all dirty anyway. <laughs> But all right, I'm sorry my um, tripod wasn't working good. And there's a bit of a glare with this. Oh, all right. But anyway, um, it was fun. I did this in like an hour. I mean, it was really quick. So this is just a frame. I think I'm going to try a box next. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.